Welcome, 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 ladies and gentlemen. Welcome. We are downtown in Jerusalem, uh, where the president is scheduled to arrive uh, for an all important location. Uh, we are looking at the museum called the Friends of Zion Museum, and where the president will be awarded one of the greatest honor in the history of, of this country, uh, Israel, uh, for his bravery and his role in helping the cause of the existence for the Jewish a state which is known as the state of Israel. So the president will be awarded that honor in the next 45 minutes or so. So his convoy is arriving and we'll be going in there uh, to bring you live. But we just want to show you the view of the museum and show you a part of view of downtown Israel. Across the road is another museum. They call it the Museum of Jerusalem or better say Tolerance Museum. I'll be joined here in this uh, live broadcast by the bad my colleague uh my colleague emmanuel kepa kepa what do you have to say well i think as uh, as solo is, is very historic uh, this is uh, one occasion one event that uh, any world leader will want to benefit uh, from uh, this award is uh, internationally known and recognized as she uh, may well have uh, said it uh, prior to now uh, there are other world leaders, including one of uh, the uh, presidents of the United States of America, among other world leaders that have uh, benefited uh, from uh, uh, this, this award. Uh, so, President, we are uh, uh, coming to the, the front burner is uh, one of those historic events, in fact, uh, of the African continent, not just the continent, not just Liberia, but the African continent as well. Uh, so. Uh, I think it behooves all Liberians to put their hands on uh, on a debt and uh, pay homage as, as homage is being paid to this uh, national leader uh, coming from uh, uh, specifically the Horn of Africa, West Africa for that matter. So we are seeing right on the wall, a lot of names are there. Uh, the first face of the names that you see, uh, the, the Friends of Zion said they are very grateful to all those who helped uh, to make the, this center possible we are pleased to honor and remember these friends and loved ones and so uh, these are the names there are a lot of them I can go through them one by one but they are also paying respect uh, they say special gratitude to those whose generosity did so much to bring this vision to life they are talking about the vision of people who work together to for the independence of Israel for whatever they have done to also have this center here. So where we are, this is the entrance point. This is where the person is expected to enter this hall. Uh, you can see the flags of Israel, uh, the Jewish flag and the flag of Liberia. So on this side too, there are three. Okay, so basically this is where the president is going. Now the president is going to tour this person is going to tour the museum. They have about six segments of the museum where the president is going to tour. Uh, so keep, uh, keep talking about this award and what I try to position ourselves. Yes, indeed. And uh, as you heard, uh, the award is being uh, uh, bestowed upon the Liberian leader here today in Jerusalem, uh, uh, the state of Israel. Uh, this is where we are right here, and I'm um, um, right here with my colleague, my supervisor, uh, I Solo Kelbe, and so you probably might uh, be aware by now that, as we told you, several other uh, world leaders, heads of state, if you will, inclu including uh, one of those uh, presidents of the United States of America, uh, George Bush and other world leaders have uh, received this award. So today is another time in the history of uh, the Republic of Liberia that uh, President George Manewia will be uh, receiving this award today. Uh, Solo, maybe uh, you've been flipping the pages. Maybe you want yeah, well, to basically, speak. Basically, uh, like this award ceremony uh, the president is a household name in Africa, 
and Liberia is one of those countries that fought for the independence of most of our African countries. So yet to grace this occasion, we have all of the ambassadors and president of Israel, our president in Jerusalem, will be attending this ceremony. We'll call their names one by one when the program unfolds. But as it stands down, the president is currently touring the museum. Like I said, the museum is divided into six sessions. They have the Hall of the Dreamer, the Visionaries, they have, uh, how you call it, the, the Brave, the Nero Museum, such segment is called the Brave, they call Light in the Darkness, the Promised Theater, of course, and the Land of Promise. So these things are divided into sections. If you hear, like, the Brave, it means are those who put their life on the line to make sure Israel is a state today, and other people help them, like where they believe in the vision, the justice, the outspokenness of the president is very making sure that, I mean, Israel remains a state. Uh, whatever advocacy he can play, they are sure the president will be one of those who bring that uh, uh, to fruition. Mm. So, so, yeah. so, someone listening or probably watching right now talking about uh, FOZ, the Friends of Zion, that uh, acronym and what have you, uh, the, the relativity, the significance of uh, this group. Maybe you care to just pull up your socks, bring them well, up to speed? There's something to call uh, uh, Christian Zionism. It means all those people around the world, like I said, millions of people who believe that God gave this land to these people and the people should exist and that their rights should be respected all over the world, are uh, those be those who have that belief, they call it uh, uh, Christian uh, uh, Zionism. So whether you are Jewish, whether you are Christian, whether you are Buddhist, no matter where you come from, once you believe that this land belongs to the people, of, of it belongs to the Jews or this land is the city of Israel and they have all right to co to exist. They have all right to exercise the franchise as given to them by God uh, are the people who fought within that room that call or that doctrine called Christian Zionism. So having said that, I think the recent previous winner of this award, if I may talk, uh, speak about it, uh, we have the King of Bahrain who won in 2020. Of course, we have uh, President George Bush who won in 2015. You talk about the Prince of Morocco, uh, who is from the continent, uh, joined by other West African leaders uh, uh, that you call, that I said, from Malawi and also from uh, Uganda, are those Africans that have won this era before. And so, in a few minutes from now, the president will be completing his tour, and then you will see entering to go to the hall. Uh, basically, so, so the ambassadors are going to take the seat one by one. We see them uh, taking the position, and there's a female, of course, among them, uh, probably during the course of the after the tour or during the course of the refreshment, will be able to talk to some of them how long they've been here, what their own belief. And I see one of my friend and brother, the flag he wears is from South Sudan because I worked there before. I was in Brunbeck, I was in Kwajok, I was in Warap, and so I'm happy to see him pass here to be able to receive the president. And the name George Weir, uh, the, the president, the Liberian leader, is, 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 is a household name. And from the fact that you see several uh, of folks, ambassadors and diplomats, other diplomats from various backgrounds on the, uh, on the African continent and, and other places would definitely signify the, 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 the actual significance, the meaning of, of such an award being uh, bestowed today on the Liberian leader. Let's, uh, the, the Liberian people, what can they uh, uh, expect of such an award being, what, what, what would you see that uh, would be some of those uh, benefits as, as, as we receive this award today? Well, I think it's not just a, a wildlife brain thing or what Africa thing. It's not, it's not just about uh, uh, Georgia as a person, but the fact that Georgia from Liberia. Liberia, uh, most people want to remember Liberia for our dark days, but those days are way beyond us. And even before that time, Liberia played a pivotal role in the world in terms of being a founding member of the United Nations, almost signing all of the treaties you know, that will promote humanity, that will promote peace and security across the world. And that Georgia has been a peace ambassador uh, during which time they also advocated for Israel rights to be protected. It speaks volume. Besides that, we were here uh, yesterday when the president vis uh, had had bilateral talks with the president Azeh Herzog of, of, of Israel 
the Prime Minister uh, Benjamin Netanyahu. No, I don't want people to say because the size of, of Israel is just 22,000 square kilometers, but Israel is one of the 10 most powerful nations in the world. So it's not just in our Liberian Palace who say Kekele uh, a country. This is a renounced country. In fact, in bibli biblically, uh, biblically uh, uh, Israel is one of those uh, recognized uh, by God, one of those chosen nations. And the person is one person who fears God. So even when he got to Israel, the first thing he did was to go to the other side to pray for Liberia, pray for peace for the war. And I mean, so that alone tells you that he's a man who believe in a Christian doctrine because he himself is a Christian. He's also is an inspirational speaker. So this, I mean, this is it. Anyone who put God first, everything will come in line for you. And so yesterday you saw the enthusiasm in the in the prime minister when you met the president. He said he greeted him with his two hands, "Oh my friend and brother, and, you know, welcome to Israel." They are sharing pleasure, and they went for close-up meetings that lasted for more than 20 minutes. They came back and they had bilateral meetings with the president's entourage. And I mean, everything went well. Uh, I don't want to let the cat out of the bag so soon, but most of the, some of the things that we're talking is how people can empower what you call uh, how Israel can work along with Liberia to add value to some of the cash crops being produced, like rubber, and like cassava. And also, one of the first things they talk about is how to make Liberia food sufficient in terms of. Uh, having rice produced in Liberia so that Liberia themselves, because you, rice cannot be our staple food and we cannot produce rice that will be able to keep ourselves and you know, sustain ourselves and probably help some of our neighbors. Yes, so in just a short while we will, but we are looking uh, towards uh, the other side where in fact uh, this program will uh, come into full swing. His Excellency President Dr. George Manambia will uh, receive this uh, award here in uh, Jerusalem, uh, Israel for that matter, uh, from the Friends of Zion. Uh, and this will add a little bit more grease to the elbows, especially, uh, especially so when Liberia looks down the corridors and moving down towards uh, elections come uh, October. Uh, this is just another uh, uh, tip of the iceberg to bring grace and, and, and more of a God's uh, presence, deliverance to the people of Liberia. Well, I think in all honesty, in all fairness, uh, Liberian uh, back home and those uh, the in the in the uh, in the diaspora also listen to us. They can see for themselves vividly that everywhere the president went, he's received, he's given the due honors, uh, and what have you. He's not. Uh, probably in the U.S. in somebody's basement, <laughs> he doesn't go up visit, and his visit is just swept under the carpet. His visit is is giving the needed attention to tell you this is the person uh, for Liberia. This is the person that the international community is looking forward to working with, and this is the person who, uh, of course, is chosen. Yes, the person uh, who is chosen. In fact, we're talking about uh, your president, we're talking about Liberia, we're talking about His Excellency, uh, the President Dr. George Manaria. Like you flip the pages and go back to Liberia, you have uh, uh, that uh, the award similar uh, to what is being done here when you talk about the president bestowing the award of Knight Great Ben and stuff, other pieces of honor being bestowed upon other members of the diplomatic corps, other world leaders and stuff. So this is one of its kind, but this happens to be the largest, uh, most similar honor that uh, is being bestowed today upon His Excellency, the Liberian leader. So no matter where you are, whether you're in a diaspora, whether you're back home, whether you're in Israel, whether you are in Australia, New Zealand, where the FIFA Women, uh, honor, FIFA Women Walk will be taking place, wherever you are on our voice or watching this live feed, uh, we are downtown Jerusalem in the neighborhood called Nahala Shiva uh, is the neighborhood where they have this uh, Friends of Zion Museum where this uh, award will be bestowed upon the president. Uh, but with the ninth president of, uh, of, of Israel is called uh, Shimon Peres. Some of you that were around for some time will know what I'm talking about. Of course, he's the one who commissioned this museum. So it tells you this is of high quality. I mean, this is of high importance. Uh, a straight VIP 
uh, uh, event that is taking place is not an event meant for people seated in the basement or people uh, wanting to be carried on their shoulders, but it's pressing is a program for the person who is there for people. Uh, someone who has been a peace ambassador for Diamond Mora, someone who has advocated for the existence of Jewish people, someone who is willing to do everything possible to make sure peace and stability range across the world. So here we are. Uh, the so this is where we are. Like I said, uh, uh, most of you I know you are very anxious and waiting to see your president arrive. And so, uh, uh, so we will be here to bring you live. All the set, we see the security all around, everywhere is intact. And so, any moment from now, the president. So, like I said, this is where the president will be arriving from to come and attend this occasion. The ambassadors are all seated, dignitaries are all seated. So, the president, Mark Evans, is taking the presidents around uh, on a tour along with some uh, with the foreign minister of uh, Israel and all the dignitaries that are being invited to this all important occasion. Kippa. Uh, I mean, you have been there since the president arrived. People in the streets, people seeing the president or hearing the president. Can you bring to bed making people who were not here or who are not here uh, feel exactly what has been unfolding? Uh, actually, you just uh, said it. Uh, the president, the Liberian leader, Dr. George Manawia. Uh, prior to now, it's, it's become an outcome uh, from the, the, the soccer field. Uh, he came down the thrill. Uh, he placed the thrill uh, into the uh, parliament, the Liberian parliament, as a senator of Montserrat County. And now uh, he's become uh, the president. Uh, so the name George Weir would be a name that uh, folks from across the larger spectrum uh, of, uh, of the society will want to fling to the uh, street, to the corridors, to make sure they catch a glimpse of the man, uh, George Mane. We are so, yes, since his arrival, we've seen folks following. We've seen uh, the, the, the arrival there at the hotel uh, in downtown uh, uh, Jerusalem. We saw the reception he received, and we saw him interacting with the president, uh, Isaac, uh, 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 and the prime minister, as well, uh, uh, Netanyahu uh, and having those uh, bilateral discussions and others, which of course is not just uh, uh, tied around him as an individual, but uh, the people, the Liberian people uh, on the one hand and the people of Israel on the other. Uh, looking towards the entrance, uh, solo, I don't want to preempt, but from what it looks like in a minute, we uh, we'll definitely see this looks like the uh, uh, soon to be return of His Excellency the uh, uh, President from this uh, tour of the facility here at the museum. But yes, if you're there, wherever you're watching, you're screaming or you're uh, listening, Emotion Press, uh, the platform, we are uh, together, Isaac Solo Kewe and me, Emmanuel Kippar, uh, for this very significant honor to shortly be bestowed upon the Liberian leader by the friends of Zion. Well, basically, uh, like I said, more and more dignitaries are arriving and taking a seat before the president comes down from the tour. Uh, we were told initially that the tour will be taking like 30 minutes. Like I said, they have six different, uh, uh, six different departments where uh, he's expected to tour. I told you a certain session, session of the museum was meant for the people to call the brave people who lay down their lives. The other session is called Light in the Darkness, that Israel is the light in the world was in the darkness. They were being suppressed, they were being killed. But what God has put together, nobody can put further the path. So Israel is to the So those different, different sections of people who play a major role, their stories being told in those museums, and brief films will be watched when, we, when the program starts. Uh, the other thing I want to say uh, to you uh, is like the international community know that I mean the president is going to be around for some time because during the the, the, the bilateral meeting the bilateral meeting started the Prime Minister of Israel presented what you call a gift to the president and that gave was the photographs of the president 
when it first visited here in 2019. In February, our part of that delegation, he presented that portrait to the president and said, well, Mr. President, uh, this is the portrait we took for now your first visit. The next time you come, I will present this one. So it is a foregone conclusion that the president is coming back to Israel following the elections. And, and uh, that Israel, again, we want to just uh, continue to emphasize so Israel is just not an ordinary country. Uh, looking back in biblical times, uh, Israel is uh, one of those chosen lands that, 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 that was singled out by God. Uh, so this is where we are, the, the, where you have uh, several holy uh, uh, sites, if you will, biblical sites talking about the, uh, where the, the crucifixion of uh, Jesus took place, the burial site uh, the, and, and other places. Uh, talking about the rock of Golgotha, uh, the tomb where Jesus was laid, and other places. But yes, uh, you would probably think that uh, Israel should be 100% uh, 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 Christian, but no, it's the other way around. Uh, you have the Jewish uh, 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 religion that is most predominantly uh, uh, in the, 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 the Yes, yes. Yeah, you got it right. Uh, uh, the, you got it right. Uh, I think the number of Christians in Liberia are far, far more better than the Christians you have uh, in uh, uh, in Israel. Uh, of the total population, which is around a uh, little over nine million people uh, of Israel, eighty one percent of them. I don't know mass. I don't know Aramaic either. But now the one percent, eighty one percent of them are Jews. Jews yeah. uh, Two percent are Christians. Two percent are other religions, uh, Islam and what have you. So it tells you that, I mean, I mean, that's it, and that's it, okay? But it doesn't mean, I'm not saying that there are more, Liberian since we have more Christian men, they are more Christian than they, no, only God will be able to judge us when it comes to that. Well, actually, prior to the death of Jesus Christ, if you will, uh, there was no Christianity. Christianity uh, was uprooted the death of Jesus, I mean, and the followers were referred to as Christians, and so, uh, so yes, uh, you, you have several of these religions that have cropped up here in Israel and other parts of uh, the Middle East, and so, yes, Christianity is a part and parcel, but yes, here in Israel, you have the, 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 the Jews that are in the majority for that matter. Yeah, basically, whether you are Jews, whether you are Buddhists, whether you are Christian, no matter where you are, we are all made in the image and likeness of God, and this is why everyone should live the breath that God breathed in them, and so this is why this is all about. Like I said, somebody was asking me, why is the president so blessed? So I was saying to myself, why wouldn't he be blessed if somebody who put country above himself? I mean, it's very strange. I've heard most people who came to this land, this blessed land, people who went to the Western world, I'm told the first thing they do, they go to the world and pray for themselves. But when I listened to the president pray when he came on Monday, the first thing he prayed, the first pray for Liberia. thing he, he prayed for Liberia. Okay, he prayed for Liberia, he prayed for peace of range in Liberia, he prayed for a peaceful and successful elections in Liberia before he started to pray for himself and his family. So why would you be blessed? Prior to now, uh, Solo, he, he was also, even after he went for this face-to-face uh, -face on with uh, former President Ellen Johnson Solif, when he did not uh, uh, come out victorious, he did not uh, bow out of the race completely. He availed himself when President uh, Solif used him also as peace ambassador. He crisscrossed from one place to the other. Uh, interacting with Liberians in several refugees, uh, refugee and displaced camps, coming and in UNICEF also used him as peace ambassador. Uh, so it's no doubt that uh, President, we are being the, uh, the front runner uh, for peace. I mean, it's, 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 it's not surprising at all. Uh, so, so Liberia, Liberia, uh, the man, President George, we are they are synonymous, synonymous. And if if you flip the pages and uh, uh, reflect it a bit, you will go back, it will take you back to a time when uh, there's a prophecy of, of the late Reverend uh, uh, Wilhelmina Dukley 
that inculcates uh, this uh, regime, the ring, the leadership of uh, President George Manawia, who has come into the, 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 the full-blown uh, 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 leadership that she spoke of uh, some years back that uh, probably we have forgotten, but now this is uh, something that is, is, is coming, but open into the wind. Just to purchase what you just said, it's not just about them, so yeah, uh, Eddie Moore for now, the president will be coming out. Uh, yeah, you see, the chief of protocol, once you see her, it means the president is coming. Yes, Ambassador Fina Bono is right here, so it means so definitely, comes the president yes, and, the his, president and the first lady will be coming. Will be coming. Yes, President Wea is flanked by the First Lady after this tour. Ambassador Bono will go to the lift. His Excellency Mrs. Wea will... So we are trying to take out which and get the person quickly. The sorry if the... Sorry if you didn't see the present entry in the of Kingley. But I think the most important thing you saw in entering, now we are coming to the hall to receive the President. Liberia is So the crew is already in the And the person will come to Yes, and all is set. We're right here in the hall. And uh, in a minute, in a minute, we expect to see him disembark. Lift. He's been taking this. Uh, and we're right here live. So was he here? So we had to have his own. 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 Come to the president. Please welcome the president of the Republic of Liberia, Mr. George Ware. And the first lady. Sorry, we're just trying to take our position to make sure we bring you full coverage of these activities. And as you can see, we're right here in the hall at the museum, and you see the montage. So the uh, Israeli and Liberian uh, enzyme flushed in the winds. As you see the portrait of His Excellency President Dr. George. Money. Ladies and gentlemen, we want to start or uh, let people that want to have a seat? We are about to start. Yes, sir. We have photographs we now have to this. So we are going to watch a film.
as the introductory aspect. Mr. President George Weah, First Lady Mrs. Clara Weah, Israeli Minister of Foreign Affairs Mr. Eli Cohen, Ambassadors, ladies and gentlemen, esteemed guests, shalom and good afternoon. It is a great honor to welcome you here at the Friends of Zion Heritage Center to pay tribute and express our deep appreciation to a true friend of Zion, President of the Republic of Liberia, Mr. George Webb. Throughout your presidency, Mr. Webb, you have repeatedly demonstrated your support on the international stage, reaffirming that Israel truly has a friend and ally in the African countries. Not only that, in the video we just have witnessed Liberia's unwavering support since the birth of the State of Israel as they voted in favor of the partition plan of 1947. Ladies and gentlemen, I have now the honor to invite to the stage our president of the Friends of Zion Museum, Mr. Michael Evans. During World War II, there was a Christian family well known in their community in Holland, the Timboom family. They were inspired by their Bible to stand with the Jewish people. And even before the modern day state of Israel, they held prayer meetings in their home, praying for the Jewish people in their return to the land of Israel. When World War II started and the Nazis came, this family brought Jewish people into their home, into a hidden room, and eventually smuggled them out to safety. And when they were caught, when they were betrayed by one of their neighbors, they faced an ultimatum. They could continue to stand with those Jewish people and help them, or they could go to the camps themselves. And the father of that family looked that German officer in the eyes and said, it would be my honor to die for God's children. We are trying to do some technical adjustment. It will be wrestling. This story is the inspiration for the Friends of Zion. There are good people across the globe <laughs> who love the Jewish people and stand with them. These individuals are lights in the darkness, individuals who in a sea of dark hatred and anti-Semitism light a candle. Individuals like His Excellency George Weah here today. My prayer is this, that the candle that you light guide that was the president of the France. Thank you, Michael Science. Evans. Market. Ladies and gentlemen, with great honor and pleasure, I now invite to the stage our esteemed Minister of Foreign Affairs, Mr. Eli Khan. Prime Minister, sort of Azel, will move to the podium and he will uh, address the Dear guests, audience. Ambassador, the foreign minister of Liberia, and of course, a true friend of Israel, our honorable guest, the president of Liberia, George Weah. Welcome. <laughs> Dear President, I have the honor and the privilege today to participate in this ceremony which till today only 26 people received this prize. And the friendship between Liberia and Israel goes decades ago. You mentioned that Liberia was one of the two states in Africa that supported of the establishment of the State of Israel in 1947. 
We are here today in a place which started by Dr. Michael Evans, which symbolized the friendship between 700 million creatures around the world, which see themselves as a Zionist, which supporting Israel. We are here in Jerusalem, in the Holy Land, and I had a very good conversation yesterday with my friend, the president, and I know that what it symbolizes you all the time, Mr. President, that you are giving hope. You are giving hope to your people in Liberia for a better future. And you are doing a great job. And I'm sure that you definitely will in the coming October, even in a bigger majority. I know that there is a lot of guests, and I also like to welcome all your delegation that came all the way from Liberia. I had the honor to visit your beautiful countries, and we will definitely work together to strengthen the relations and expand in them. We have also with us the former uh, Minister uh, General in the Israeli Army, Yossi Perl. Thank you that you are joining us today. My good friend, the Vice Mayor of uh, Hamada Sharon, Yaakov Kovetsky, which he also was part of the religion, a different religion, the football religion, which he played, <laughs> like the huge legacy of uh, President Rea uh, as well. But here, we are speaking about the friendship, the friendship between the Christian people and the Jewish people. In this place, in Jerusalem, and as well as in Haifa, the friend of Zionists contribute a lot, mainly to the Holocaust survival. And you mentioned the World War II, when six million people of the Jewish people died in the camp in Auschwitz and Birkenau and other places. And this place, like other places that he contribute in Israel, in the end of their life, give them a smile, a warm home. And definitely we are taking this friendship ahead between the nations. So I'm here, it was very important to me. <coughs> Although I have a busy schedule, of course, to be in this important ceremony, in this symbolic house that symbolizes the friendship, the hope, the good future. We Israel, although we are a small country in terms of size and populations, we enjoy a lot of capabilities in the segments of agriculture, water technology, innovation, food security. And we will never, we will never forget the support of Liberia, not just in 1947, but also in these days, in the UN, in the AU, and we definitely, we work together to strengthen the relations. And I would like also to ask our friend, from the friend of Zion, that we will work together. This house is the house of the bridge between the people, between the nations. And I also would like that this house, that we will work together. Since I come from the business community, at the end of the day, I'm looking for outcomes. And in the outcomes, <coughs> I want that the relations which are they are already excellent to see the outcome on the ground in Monrovia, in all the relevant cities in Liberia. So once again, thank you for coming here. And Mr. President, you are definitely deserve to this honor and prize. Thank you all the delegation.
Thank you so much for the kind words, Minister of Foreign Affairs, Mr. Ali Khan. At this time, I would like to share with you some words of our Prime Minister, Benjamin Netanyahu. To my friend of many years, Mike Evans, to the Friends of Zion Museum, I send you my greetings and my salutations. The Friend of Zion uh, Museum is, uh, is a remarkable project in the heart of Jerusalem. It celebrates the extraordinary contributions of Christian Zionists to the rise of Jewish Zionism. And many people don't know it, I do, and I've always been aware of it, that Christian Zionism preceded Jewish Zionism. Uh, and in fact, Herzl, the founder of our modern national movement, understood this, and one of his best friends, and the person who accompanied him on his deathbed, was a Christian Zionist clergyman. Uh, this is uh, so important to understand that the roots of the support, the international support for the Zionist movement in the 19th century were actually coming from American Christian Zionism and British Christian Zionism. And the two melded together to give uh, the support, the great support that we eventually got in the Balfour Declaration that preceded the establishment of the State of Israel. That friendship continues to this very day. I think we have no, I know, I don't think, I know we have no better friends around the world than our Christian friends. And every time I go abroad and I meet another Christian community, I'm so encouraged and so moved by their support, by their enthusiasm, and frankly by their love. So I want you to know from the land of Zion, from the city of Zion, how much we value the activity that you, Mike, and all of you do for the state of Israel and for securing our common values, our common heritage, and our common future. Congratulations. So a message from the Israeli Prime Minister. To now I would like to invite the director of the FAS Museum, Mr. Nir Kimchi, to come forward and introduce the prestigious Friends of Zion Word. Director of the museum will go to the podium and he will give us some uh, intervention as this program shalom, shalom. continues. Do you like the museum? Do you like it? Yeah? Great. So, uh, as, as I said before, this museum is talking about telling the story of non-Jews who helped the State of Israel, support the State of Israel, uh, save Jews during the Holocaust, and so heroes, heroes like you, people who support Israel like you. And uh, we would like to uh, thank you about everything you're doing for Israel. And we would like to uh, celebrate this uh, with you today. Um, the, the Friend of Zion Award, actually this house, uh, the, the, the uh, uh, Booster of 41st speak about it, spoke about it. This house is your home. Your home in Israel, your home in Jerusalem. Uh, it's, a, it's a home of people who support Israel and support the Jewish people. And we would like today to tell you about this uh, uh, award, the Friend of Zion Award, which was initiated by uh, late President of Israel, Shimon Peres, and was given to 26 world leaders, uh, two, including two presidents of the United States, uh, George W. Bush and uh, Trump and also to the Vice President of the United States, Pence, who was here and received this award as well, uh, in the same stage as here. So we would like to welcome you and thank you and invite you to the state, to the state please, to receive this Friend of Zion Award. We would like to invite also the uh, Minister of Foreign Affairs to come to the stage, please. Be seated, please. Be seated. Be seated, please. So the prisoner is being called to the podium where he is being accompanied by the foreign minister and they will be presented to him. And he stands right in front of uh, the portrait solo us in the building that uh, uh, intermarriage of the two flags. <laughs> is, uh, the, with the portrait of His Excellency. President Kuya, and you can see the breeze dangling, and those are flags 
Israel, there is a mortage. The boat flags flushed uh, with the bees zooming, pending across as His Excellency the President receives his story. Uh, and he will retire soon from the podium. No, he, he's going to remain there and make a speech. I think he's continuing to make history. Yeah, yeah. He's continuing to defy the odds. And that's why the name George Rea stands for history making. Yes, indeed. The first president uh, from the Republic of Liberia to receive this award uh, from the eight days of Joseph Jenkins Roberts. And you just said it right. Uh, the name George Rea continues to make history. And this is another milestone history as he will pause and he will uh, take a, a posture as he will shortly begin to address the audience. Honorable Ali Cohen, Minister of Foreign Affairs of the State of Israel, all of the officials of government in the State of Israel here present. Madam Claire Marie Weir, First Lady of the Republic of Liberia, Michael Evan, President of the Friends of Zion, Honorable Deputy Speaker and members of the Liberian Legislature here present, the Dean and members of the Cabinet, all officials of the Liberian government here present, friends, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. I stand before you today with immense gratitude and deep humility as I accept the prestigious Friends of Zion Award bestowed upon me by the Friends of Zion Heritage Center. I am deeply honored to be recognized alongside other esteemed world leaders and diplomats who have voiced their unwavering support for the state of Israel and their solidarity with the Jewish people. Today, as I accept this prestigious award, I reaffirm Liberia's steadfast and enduring commitment to the state of Israel and its people. As a nation, Liberia cherishes the value of friendship and cooperation. Our friendship is not confined to male wars. It is a living bond that strengthens our resolve to work hand in hand towards a better future. We recall with understandable pride that Liberia was one of the 33 countries at the United Nations General Assembly that voted on November 29, 1947 in favor of the UN Resolution 181 that gave birth to the State of Israel. On that historic day, 2,000 years old dream of the Jewish people became a reality and the Jewish state was born. Since being a part of that historic vote, Liberia has always been proud to stand alongside Israel we are determined and resolved to continue to strengthen the ties between our two great nations. Today, together, we will continue to foster a strong relationship, promote unity and strive for a world where understanding and compassion prevail. The solidarity and mutual respect shared between Israel and Liberia to serve as a beacon of hope for a world striving for peace and harmony. Mm -hmm. Together, we will navigate the challenges, celebrate the strength, and foster an environment of understanding and collaboration. As we move forward, let us be inspired by the spirit of friendship that unites us and continue to build bridges of goodwill cooperation. Let us, with determination and dedication, strive 
to create a world where every individual can strive and contribute to the greater good. Once again, I extend my heartfelt appreciation to the friends of Zion Heritage Center and all those who have made this honor possible. May this award serve as a reminder of the unyielding commitment to Liberia, of Liberia to friendship, peace, and progress. Thank you, and may the friendship between Israel and Liberia continue to flourish for generations to come. God bless you all, and God bless Liberia and Israel. I thank you. Some of the said earlier than that uh, President Rio, dating back from 1847 in the history of the Republic of Liberia, uh, is, is, is uh, the first uh, Liberian leader to receive this uh, award. Again, this is a milestone in the echelon. Thank you, Mr. President, for this inspirational words. Well, thank you, basically. Uh, the president has received the award. He has been very much. Before we conclude our ceremony, I kindly request that everyone so, rise from their seats uh, for the playing we'll of the two national anthems. Let us stand together in honor of Liberia's anthem, uh, followed by the anthem of Israel. The playing of the two national anthems that will bring us broadcast to a National Anthem. <laughs>
thank you. Mr. Just how we brought the curses down to this. I moment. would like to thank you.